Got some more snow in the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist John Malone. Last night we got some snowfall uh, and it was light in most locations, but look at Sheboygan at two and a half inches there, but one inch in Franklin, one inch in Eagle and Big Bend, nearly an inch in Fort Atkinson and Racine and the airport only a trace, most of Waukesha County only a trace and some folks even getting a little freezing drizzle instead of any snow at all. Uh, one of the reasons was we had all these bands overnight last night and right here south of Milwaukee in between uh, nothing going on. It should come in a different perspective uh, overnight tonight, we're going to see that snow coming from the west and diving to the southeast. The temperatures have been very, very mild. Check out the jet stream tonight, basically over the northern part of the state and over Lake Superior, and it will pretty much stay that way through the week. But then by Saturday late, we're going to see this jet stream start to show its uh, tendency to go from north to south, and it's going to do so on S Sunday and Monday, and that'll bring some cooler air in through Tuesday, but then it goes right back to the north again, and we will see the mild temperatures return for later on next week. So this January thaw is becoming an extended January thaw. High temperatures again in the mid 30s today, 35 in Milwaukee, 30 as far north as Sault Ste. Marie, 32 at the Twin Cities, and the 40s and 50s very, very close, 50 at Indianapolis, 50 in Des Moines, so all the early season snow is melting well to our south. Tonight's low temperatures on the mild side, 27 in Milwaukee and Racine, 26 in Port Washington, 25 Waukesha, Burlington, West Bend and Fond du Lac with 24 degrees out in Watertown and Beaver Dam. Now what we're looking at overnight tonight is this low pressure system coming in from southern Minnesota and moving to the southeast. It'll move southeast of the state uh, later on uh, overnight tonight and that will bring a band of snow. I think this one that 0.3 inch uh, snowfall prediction for La Crosse and Platteville will be in our southwest viewing area uh, and we might see an inch of snow here in Milwaukee. Something like this, an inch to a half an inch uh, from Beaver Dam all the way to Milwaukee. Less for Sheboygan, more for Walworth County, portions of Jefferson County and even the western part of Kenosha County. Here's how our computer models take a look at it. There's a the low pressure system coming in out of Minnesota. It dives to the south. You can see the snow basically southeastern Wisconsin. And then by later on in the afternoon and into tomorrow evening, everything is gone as that low moves to the southeast. High pressure takes over for the next couple of days and keeps things very quiet. And again, on the mild side. So for tonight, light snow develops after midnight. You could see an inch on the ground for rush hour in the morning, 27 degrees, your overnight mild low temperature. And then for tomorrow, morning snow showers continuing on, probably everything over by 10 or 11 in the morning, mostly cloudy skies, northeast winds, and 32 degrees. And those winds stay northeast through tomorrow night, low 25 degrees, and into Thursday, mostly cloudy, still seasonably mild, with a high up to 32. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast, and we're looking at temperatures staying very mild through Friday and Saturday with some sunshine. And then for Sunday, 30 degrees with a little light snow, and then we get that cool down starting on Monday.